Hi everyone, this is a tutorial on how to do the extended response chapter 6 problems. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how to do it. You'll actually be able to see what I'm doing on the screen. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is number one. So it says a home improvement store offers a store credit card with a monthly interest rate of 2%. Suppose Sapatu purchased a new appliance for $2,000 and used his store credit card as payment. Okay, suppose for A, suppose Sapatu did not make any payments on his credit card created table to show the interest added to his balance at the end of each month for six months round all amounts to the nearest whole dollar. So at month one, he had $2,000 on his credit card. Okay, so this is simple interest. So $2,000 for an interest rate of 2%. So I'm going to multiply this times 0 0.02. And that was at the end of one month. So 2000 times 0 0.02 equals $40. So at the end of one month, his forty dollars. Two months, okay, it's going to be two thousand forty dollars times zero point zero two, and all I did was I added uh, two thousand dollars plus forty dollars, which was the interest I paid. Okay, so that's forty dollars and eighty cents at the end of three months. So I had twenty forty plus forty eighty, which gives me two thousand eighty dollars and eighty cents times zero point zero two. And that is $41.62. Okay, at four months, I have 2080 80 plus 4162, which gives me $2,122.42 times 0 0.02, which gives me $42.43. At five months, I have $2,122.42 plus $2,122.42. Point forty two plus forty two dollars and forty three cents, which gives me two thousand one hundred sixty four point eighty five times zero point zero two zero point zero two, which gives me forty three dollars and thirty cents. Okay, and then six months. So I take 21.64.84 plus 43.30, which gives me $2,208.14 times 0 0.02, gives me $44.16. Okay, I'm going to add that to my last price. Point fourteen plus forty four dollars and sixteen cents. So what I did was I did two two zero eight fourteen plus forty four dollars and sixteen cents, which gives me two thousand two hundred fifty two dollars and seventy four cents. So at the end of six months, he'll pay two thousand two hundred fifty two dollars and seventy four cents. So that's for letter A. For letter B, 
Suppose instead of using the store credit card to buy the appliance, Sapatu borrowed $2,000 from a bank. So what's the simple interest on $2,000 for six months at an interest rate of $24? So remember, simple interest is I equals P times R times T, where P is the principal, R is the rate, or my percentage, and T is time, and remember the time is in years. So uh, this is months, so I have to change that to years. So when I do this, I equals my principal is $2,000 times my rate, which is 24%, so 0 0.24 times 6 over 12. Remember, because 6 uh, is in months, and there's 12 months in a year. So when I do this, when I multiply through, so I get 2,000 times 0 0.24 times 6 twelfths, which gives me $240. So I equals $240, and I'm going to add that to my 2,000. So 2,000 plus 240 equals 2,240. Okay. So um, for letter C, do you recommend that Sapatu uses the credit card or borrow money from a bank to pay for the appliance? Justify your reasoning. So looking at this, I would recommend that Sapatu uses the money borrowed from the bank since the credit card charges interest every month while the bank is one lump sum. So at the end of six months with the credit card, Sapatu would pay $2,252.74. And with borrowing money from the bank, Sapatu would pay $2,240 the end of six months, which is a difference of minus two two four zero of twelve dollars and seventy four cents. Okay, so that's for uh, number one. 